Hey, DJ LeFave here, and we are going to teach you how to add an instance or a connection in BitFocus Companion right now. All right, so you launch your GUI, and on the first tab, you'll see this thing called instance. So the instance is really gives you options when you're configuring a button, to my knowledge. So essentially, when you want to... Um, add features to your buttons, you need an instance that ties back to that. There's three that I'm going to recommend off the bat for all beginner users to use. Um, the first one, you just go into this uh, search bar and start typing in Vicrio. Vicrio hotkey comes up. So what you're going to do is you click add and then this uh, panel comes up and under hotkey version, click the down arrow and select greater than 2.0.5. That, we're going to leave the port open to uh, 10,001, and for me, I have not had to put a target IP in, it just it works with, with the general use. So then we click Apply Changes. Now, make sure that you um, download the Ficreo hotkey listener. Uh, you can click this link right here to download it, and just to follow through the motions, we'll, we'll follow that link. You go to this page, click on Go to Ficreo Releases for Download, and right here you have the different um, options to download and install. I did the Windows install and when you are done installing it uh, this little thing pops up and then you can just close it. Uh, just go to my webpage djlefave.com slash companion and there is an article on how to ensure that this opens up on startup because that that's easy that way you don't have to remember to open it yourself each time. So now that we have the Ficreo instance installed when you go to your buttons and you want to add a button when you click the key down on actions you'll notice that there is now different options here with Ficreo uh, next to them you notice there's nothing here for OBS right now right you've got the internal the ones that come with BitFocus Companion and then you've got Ficreo right here which is the one we just added so we'll go to instance and we're going to add um, a new one just searching for OBS OBS Studio, we click Add, and then um, it's going to uh, ask you a couple of options here. You need to have the, uh, what do you call it? It's a, a, a plugin, it's called the WebSockets Ser Server Settings. You wanna make sure that that is installed as a, a plugin for you. And uh, for me, my target port is 4444. And then I have a password enabled, so I want to make sure that that password is added there. So I'm just going to, uh, is this, is this, yep, 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 it's clear text. So we're going to pull this on over here. I'm going to um, add my password. And when I add my password and hit apply changes, all right, we go back to instances and you will see that it is running. So it's running and we're, we're good to go. So you can tell it's running when it says status is okay, right? Okay. And then the last one that we're gonna add is add category. And this one, or we're gonna go down here to search and we're gonna type in generic, generic HTTP requests. Click add for that and uh, click apply changes. That one is going to let you do some cool things like change the background and, and uh, change text if you want to uh, change text color right now and do a couple different things with HTTP requests that we'll get into later. So there you have it. You have the Ficreo Hockey, OBS, and HTTP generic. In order to get your um, web sockets, uh, OBS web socket uh, plugin, all you do is click on, uh, just do OBS WebSocket plugin in the search bar. Uh, click on this little thing right here, and then you can download it from the GitLab for uh, minimum OBS version 25.0. What that essentially does is allows your external uh, tablet, phone, um, or stream deck to be able to connect with your OBS and control your different scenes. So from here, just find the, the install and uh, and get that 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 sucker installed for you. So um, again, make sure you get your instances installed and set up. That that's the first uh, part to uh, take you on to the next level where you can actually start configuring things. So I'm DJ Lefave. Hope this was helpful. Out.